One of the 2021 nominees, Carl Edwards, hasn't been on the racetrack in a while, but he certainly gave us a ton of memories, and now he is a Hall of Fame nominee. Congratulations. It's so awesome to see you. Thank you so much for taking some time to join us today. Uh, thanks a lot, Shannon. This is, um, I can't think of a more welcome break to all the, the craziness that's going on right now. This is a huge surprise to me and just uh, happy to be here talking to you about this. All right, let, let's talk about what's going on here. The nomination for you, such an honor. What did you think when you when you heard you were nominated? I guess it's just, it's it's humbling because as I look at the, the other guys, um, you know, on that list, I, I, I think of everything they've contributed to the sport uh, by far more than I've contributed to the sport. And it, it just, I guess for me, it just, I guess it reminds me of how many people helped me, how much success we actually had to go over that sheet that Randy Fuller, you know, put together and to think about all those wins. That's been really special. And, and the biggest thing for me is to get all the text messages from all of the crew members, crew chiefs, you know, and, and to think back of through all the folks that, that actually put all this together. It's really a, a fun trip down memory lane and just a huge honor and very humbling. How much has this nomination been sort of the catalyst for you to think back on your career? Have you done it up until this point, or has this sort of been the thing that, that sparked that? Well, in bits and pieces, of course. I think about my career all the time. You know, like I, I said to Dave Moody the other night, I, I mean, NASCAR gave me basically a life, everything. I carry it with me every day, all the lessons I learned, the friendships, and but this has been different. I, I've thought about Mike Mittler and and you know Jack Roush, um, you know Pierre Cutel, uh, Doug Richard. You know all the, the. I mean, there were fifty or sixty people who loaned me parts for my first championship at Capital Speedway in a dirt modified. And I, I remember uh, writing a list of all those folks. So to me, this has been um, the most since I stopped racing that I've thought about each one of those people, each one of the accomplishments, how much went into this, and and it's really a time for me to just just to stop and think about how, how fortunate I am and, and how much fun I got to have racing. Yeah, you say those names, right? It just brings back so many memories because we all kind of came up with you uh, watching your career through the years. It, when you run into young kids nowadays, because, I mean, Carl, you are the epitome of the American dream, right? Handing out business cards and then making it to the top level. How many kids come up to you and say, I want to be the next Carl Edwards? <laughs> um, I, I've had the opportunity to speak to a lot of kids and um, – and it's really neat. I mean, I guess what I always tell them is that, you know, people always told me when I was a kid, you can do anything you want. You know, you just keep trying, don't give up. And, and all that stuff is true. And I mean, that's what I try to convey to them that, look, I, I just had this dream of getting in a race car and, and putting on a helmet and somebody let me just slide that car down in the corner and race people. And, and I got to race against the best drivers in the world. And, and to, to get to do something that you enjoy that much is is so rare, and and I guess mostly it's just um, yeah. The point I'm saying is I just try to 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 share that experience with kids and people, and and that's been a lot of fun, and um, and yeah, I just I just can't say enough for what NASCAR has done for me, and it's taught me those things which I can share with other folks and hopefully and help them. So who told you that you were nominated? Who was the one that gave you the call? You pick up the phone. What do they say? And who is it? So I was actually out with my brother in the woods. We were doing some work, and I came back to my phone, and Dave Moody had texted me. I had to read it twice. I thought, "What?" And uh, I asked my, I told my brother. I, I said, "You got to be, you can't be serious." And I, I went outside. And I told my brother. I said, "Man, they, they put me up to, like at the nomination for you know Hall of Fame." He said, "Why?" And I said, "I don't know." <laughs> no, uh, so um, yeah, it's just just crazy. I just I, I can't say enough about. Um, all the people at NASCAR, everyone that, um, you know, that even, uh, you know, thought to put me up for this nomination, the, the other guys, I mean, Ricky Rudd, I mean, you know, um, Larry Phillips, Harry Gant, Neil Bond, all these folks, uh, Dale Jr., Jeff Burton, they're all heroes to me. So just to be included in that group is spectacular. And it's, it's just, it really warmed my heart. And like I said, it's very humbling. I, I tell people all the time, I, I won the lottery. I got to live my dream and drive race cars and do all this fun stuff. And then I won it again by being able to, to step away and enjoy life outside of the car. And, and to me, this you know, caught me out of the blue. It's icing on the cake for people to even consider me for something like this. And, and, and once again, it's just a testament to all the folks who helped me and all the opportunities that were given to me. And um, I'm very thankful for it. So you kind of set me up for my last question. Uh, we've heard that you've been on a boat, that you've been on a tractor, that you've been in an airplane, and, and that you're running for, for Senate or something like that. <laughs> what have you been doing? 
We've been doing just basically um, all the stuff that comes to mind. And, yeah, we've been farming a little bit, which has been fun. That's a really neat thing I get to do with my brother and my close friends. We got to travel all over the world. Uh, the boat stuff has been a lot of fun. I, I'm not a water person, not a strong swimmer, as they say. And so that's been pretty neat. I've learned a ton. And, um, and yeah, just trying to, to stay in shape, you know, learn as much as I can. I, I think, you know, from what I've seen of politics, that would be by far the most dangerous thing you could ever do in your life. But I do believe in America. I believe in our freedoms. And I care about our future. I hope we're doing the right things. And so, um, but yeah, that won't, if I ever run for office, it'll be way down the road. I have to get a lot more frustrated with things before I do that. Can you still do the backflip, Carl? That's uh, the burning yeah. question, right? I don't know. I haven't done one for a I long tried. time. I tried. So that's a great question. I don't know if I could do one, but yeah, I'd have to have a pretty good reason. But yeah, this this Hall of Fame thing, I just I can't thank everybody enough. It's so cool to be on with you and to mm -hmm. to talk to everybody about this. I mean, and like I said, just being able to reach out and, and you know touch base with all the folks who who were a part of this success is is really special. Well, Carl, we can't thank you enough for all of the memories that you gave us uh, when you were behind the wheel of that race car. Uh, and, and thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations again. Hey, thanks a lot, Shannon. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing well at home. I hope everybody stays safe. And and just I, I can't thank everyone enough for the support. And a huge congratulations to to everyone else that's that's been nominated. They, these guys are amazing. So it's cool to be part of it. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.